And when you first sign on to the Boomi platform, it acts as your one-stop shop for all your Boomi needs. On the left-hand side here, you can see all of our different services. Today, we'll be focusing on integration, but maybe down the line, you're looking for a master data management or API management solution. That's also available here. I also like to note that we released a um, new product, Boomi Event Streams, just recently. It acts as a message queuing system for any of your Boomi integration needs. And then on the right-hand side here, we have all, have all of our different Boomi resources. First one being the Boomiverse community. This is a forum for any Boomi users to go in there and ask any Boomi related questions. We have Boomi employees and users asking any, monitoring that for any questions anyone may have. And then we have our free training and certification. One can um, come here and get free LMS video training and certified on any of our different services here on the left. All of our Boomi documentation is available on the website. And then you can also submit support tickets here as well. From here, I'll jump into the integration side of things. When you click on the integration tab, it brings you to this build canvas. This is where you'll be building out your Boomi integrations. Boomi utilizes a graphical user interface or GUI based approach to integration compared to the traditional configuration based model. This approach reduces the need for technical expertise because users can simply drag and drop shapes onto the integration build canvas to build out your integrations. This streamlined process enhances productivity, reduces the integration time, and fosters collaboration between business and IT. Instead of dealing with complex scripts and configurations, users can focus on leveraging Boomi's vast array of pre-built connectors and templates to solve their specific integration challenges. It's this kind of intuitive design that sets Boomi apart and makes it user-friendly for both technical and non-technical users. From here, I'll jump into some of the features you see on the screen. On the left-hand side here, you have the Boomi folder structure. And the nice thing about this is anytime you build something within Boomi, whether that's a connection to Salesforce, a connection to one of your APIs, or a mapping component between two different applications, it automatically saves it here within the Boomi folder structure, allowing users to reuse those components for future integration builds and allowing organizations to scale as they need to build out more integrations quickly. And next to the folder structure, we have the Boomi component library. These are the shapes that you'll actually be dragging and dropping onto your canvas to build out your integrations. It's divided into three sections. The first one is the connector library. And the nice thing about the Boomi connector library that has over hundreds of pre-built connectors that our 20,000 plus customer base has connected to over 300,000 unique endpoints in various types of vertical, whether that be healthcare, e-commerce, manufacturing, and many more. The point is that if there's an application that allows external connectivity, Boomi can connect to it. And then the next section in the component library is the execute shapes. These are the shapes that transform your data throughout your Boomi integrations. Most popular one being the map shape, which I'll be able to show you more here shortly. And then we have logic shapes, which control the data flow throughout your Boomi integrations. They can do data validation, error handling, and logic all within your integrations. From here, I'll jump into the specific integration I have built today. What we're doing is we're syncing up Salesforce accounts to NetSuite customers. So what I am doing here is we're I have a Salesforce account created, DreamTech Solutions, and I want to sync that up to NetSuite. And currently, it's not synced up yet. Just to show you, I'll type in DreamTech Solutions. There's no results found yet. And with Boomi, we are able to automate this process and Sync, sync up these two applications seamlessly. And how I did that with this specific workflow here is I'm pulling data from Salesforce here, that specific account data. I'm mapping it to NetSuite, to how NetSuite likes this data, sending that data to NetSuite, and then we're going to sync up some data um, from NetSuite back to Salesforce on the back end. And I'll go ahead and run this integration by hitting this test button up at the top right. Hit it, hitting this test button 
the manual execution. But when your integrations are production ready, you can have this deployed and running on a scheduled basis. You can have it running once a month, once a week on Fridays at five o'clock or every hour, or you can have it running as frequent as every 60 seconds. Now, when you click that test button, it's running this in test mode. The nice thing about this is you can actually see the data um, journey of the what you're trying to transform here. So when I click on the connection data down here and click this little icon, you can actually see the raw API data that we're pulling from Salesforce. This is Dream Tech Solutions, and this is the actual data we're pulling from Salesforce. After it goes through the map shape, we transform it to how NetSuite likes its data. And if I click on NetSuite here and click on the connection data, this is the actual API we're sending to NetSuite. You can see the name Dream Tech Solutions, and it also mapped over some of the um, address data as well. From here, I'll jump, refresh the page, and hopefully it's synced over that account, Dream Tech Solutions. You can see it created the new customer, Dream Tech Solutions here. And it also mapped over some of the address information. And what I'd like to note here, it created this unique NetSuite ID up here at the top, 669601. If I go back to Salesforce, you can see the NetSuite ID is currently blank. If I refresh that page, it should have synced back that unique NetSuite ID, 669601. It also added the last sync date of when that integration ran and also created this chatter message, the NetSuite customer record 669601 has been created. So now going back to the Boomi side of things, <laughs> I'll show you kind of how we built this integration, just mainly on the mapping side of things, on how we map the data from Salesforce to NetSuite with the specific map shape right here. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is the Boomi map shape. On the left-hand side here, you have your Salesforce API profile. And then on the right-hand side here, you have that NetSuite um, API profile. And the nice thing about Boomi is that we automatically imported both these data structures with our branded connectors, and you don't have to manually create these profiles whatsoever, making this mapping process a lot quicker by using the automatic import options. And I'll actually do a mapping exercise here today to show you how I actually mapped it. So I'll actually clear out the mappings and how I mapped this was using this feature called Boomi Suggest up at the top left here. It is a powerful feature that leverages the collective intelligence of the Boomi community. It uses AI and machine learning algorithms to recommend data mappings based on the mappings done by other Boomi users. And what it does is just suggest you mappings, basically. And I'll just map you map over a couple of these just for the exercise pur exercise purposes here. I'll click on which ones I want. Click on that one. Type and then count type. I'll hit next. And then I just mapped over four fields for the purpose of this recording. But it, this um, Boomi suggests not only accelerates the integration process, but also ensures accuracy and consistency in your data mapping. It's a great tool for beginners and experienced users as it provides a starting point for mapping and reduces the time spent on manual mapping. With Boomi suggests you can streamline your integration process enhance, and enhance productivity. And you can see it mapped over these fields for us. And if we wanted to change anything, it's as simple as dragging and undragging and dropping it. And if you wanted to add something else to it, you can just drag and drop from side to side over here. And then from here, the last thing I had to show you today was if I click on this Manage tab here and go to Process Reporting, it brings us to the Boomi process reporting feature, which offers real-time insights into your integration processes. This visibility is crucial for businesses to monitor process executions, track errors, and optimize their operations. And a nice thing about this dashboard is you can filter it out by errors, 
pending integrations and the ones that have successfully ran. And then you can also filter out by when it ran based on hour, 24 hours, in the past week, or even a specific time range. And when you click on one of these specific integrations, you can actually see the process logs of what actually happened in that specific integration. And if something aired out, it will highlight specifically where something had aired out. So that's all I had to show for this quick high-level demo of Boomi. I want to thank you all for watching, showcasing how robust Boomi's capabilities are to significantly accelerate time to value and reduce the total cost of ownership. With Boomi, you can achieve greater operational efficiency and unleash the true potential of their data integration and workflow automation initiatives. Don't miss out on the opportunity to leverage Boomi's power to drive innovation and achieve transformative results in your business.